good evening to everybody hi students i am dr c h adaya lecturer in electrical engineering government polytechnic usnabad today we are going to learn few basic things regarding fifth semester subject that is ee finite phi c electrical estimation and utilization in this subject in past chapter that is infer various wiring systems and estimate the materials required for domestic wiring from previous few weeks classes we have seen the basic things step by step how we are going to calculate now each and every accessories its function its value where we require those materials already familiar now in this case the continuation of that topic now is a finally we are going to the problematic that is a the estimation of a domestic insulation in a given domestic area now let us see so one by one after completion of this topic today now so on completion of this topic you would be able to know about layout of service main in the consumer premises the basic indian electricity rules for domestic house wiring assumptions of loads and its 3d wiring diagram for calculation purpose estimation of the domestic lighting installation and finally the preparation of schedule these are the few steps today we are going to know let us see in this case so as you have observed these things already we know that so this is a physical a practical a pole distribution pole nearby houses where the utilities the ready to supply electrical energy from the pole whether it is a pcc pole and a rail pole or iron pole so we are taking the energy for in case of the single phase to 30 volts 50 edge voltage when case of three phase voltage 440 volts three phase supply and the ac voltage in normally in a small house and medium we require single phase is enough for the single phase supply as we know that one of the r phase y phase b phase we will take the one phase as a phase and the neutral is a common terminal by using the 6 mm square twin core the service wire is used to take the supply from the pole to our premises nearby our energy meters where this energy meter you might observe in our houses so input two terminals is connected to the service wire and another two terminals is connected to our in uh, cutouts those are primary stages of our house and from cutout so we are taking the a main that is indicates whether the supply is available or not at the same time sub circuits another few number of fuses in the old days we are using the fuses nowadays we are using the mcbs those are known as a sub circuits from the sub circuits we are going to connect the supply to the different rooms in a small house whether it is a hall kitchen bedrooms and it's a bathrooms different places so each room controlled from this db where it has a sub circuits so as you know 
so here so you see the supply comes from pcc poles to the energy meter as the input from energy meter output is connected to the cutout where it is a protective system and it is connected to the similarly db and distribution board where it has the mains uh, isolator nothing but and from this one it is connected to the different load centers that is the in our house it may be connected to the hall and kitchen bedroom children bedroom different places so let us see how this load is connected in our house how many sub circuits required what are the materials required for a simple uh, two rooms and what are the sizes of the conduit what are the sizes of the db what are the sizes of the fuses all what are the ratings of the uh, switches conduits different accessories in our house so today so we are very happy to learn so in our house daily to daily day, day to day uh, daily we are using the this type of the system as electrical students we should know this ideas how we are going to estimate the ele roughly electrical estimation what are the materials required how much cost approximately we should know let us see so very easy and interesting now coming to the other part so here you can observe so lamp circuits with main switch and energy meter fuse cutouts and distribution box this is a circuit diagram so, as comparing to the previous case how the supply is given what is the input how the input is coming to the energy meter how the energy meter supply is going to the db and from the db how the sub circuits here you can see observe from distribution board there is a one sub circuit one and sub circuit number two so these are the two sub circuits one will cover the some area of the house and another will cover the another area of the house what do you mean by the sub circuits sub circuits nothing but it is a controlled through the two fuses or mcbs that means if problem occurred in kitchen then automatically so only supply sub circuit 1 it is supplying the kitchen and bedroom for example and sub circuit 2 is supplying the and uh, that is maybe hall and another portion if problem occur in kitchen due to the some short circuit occur while doing the uh, mixing then automatically so what will happen the current the fuse belongs to the kitchen and bedroom will blows remaining hall and other rooms power may be available so at that time we can repair kitchen so instead of disturbance into the hall so that is the one thing we are going to provide in our domestic now let us see in details for before going to estimate the materials for domestic applications so we have to know so where how much load so where the appliances how many appliances are required in each room and what is the where we are required place the that loads that should be first of all first know after that so we have to draw the three dimensionally one figure that means so we have to assume three dimensionally so where we have to keep the controlling device where we have to place the load for easy and convenient for everyone that should be first of all uh, familiarize after that we have to assume a three dimensionally uh, house let us assume here you can observe this is a one small house where it has the one room and second room and another is a uh, c room a room b and room c where room a is a main where the di the distribution supply also available in blue color and from that it is going to the uh, different places and in that case one switchboard and one lamp simple and another room it is same wire is going to the switchboard and lamp and same supply is going to the another room these are the 
simple idea of how we are going to do this one so it can be uh, before that one you have to assume this three dimensionally then we can get the accurate where we require the bends where we could the elbows where we require the junction boxes and where we require the, the place the distribution boards and switch boards and the lamp circuits fans everything we can going to do one by one by assumptions so that means our aim is to so minimize the material minimize the cost and but should be it should be very effective and easy and convenient to the every person that is the our aim of the engineers now let us see and here so you as you know this is the main board and this is the wiring layout whether it's a conduit wiring a casing capping wiring and a cleat wiring and trs wiring all in this we as already we know the types of wiring systems in previous classes cleat wiring trs wiring conduit wiring and casing capping wiring so the in this case the cleat wiring and trs wiring are the very um, rarely we are using so nowadays we are using the conduit wiring only the conduit wiring may be surface conduit wiring or concealed conduit wiring as already we known what is the merits and demerits of the this conduit wiring and uh, 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 previous classes here nearly 75 percentage of the houses are preferred for the conduit wiring in domestic we are using the pvc conduit wiring the concealed one so here in the concealed wire wiring that is maybe conduit number of conduits is required how many number of length of the conduit you have to find out that purpose so we re require the, the pvc conduit wiring system you can observe here red color is a pvc conduit wiring so in door in in pvc conduit we are drawing the number of the pvc wire copper wires required based on the load capacity now this is a switch board and this is a load the basic things you should know now coming to the another so point we have to observe in a domestic or in a commercial so for example if you are observe in your physics laboratory or any our laboratory where is the electronics laboratory or in electrical laboratory so we can observe some sockets provided on a bench so to do the some simple some quick plus and ohms class different purpose here you can observe the two sockets two sockets two sets of different points provided at the same time the switches also the power is also provided in the uh, upper side so that means here you can see these are the lighting loads that means these all switches are designed all the loads are designed for the lighting load where lighting load will take the current maximum current of 5 amperes to 30 volts for in case of sometimes we require the some um, iron box immersion heater geyser and uh, refrigerators so at that condition we require the a separate line has to be drawn from the um, distribution box so that is known as a you can observe this side and other side is a the cooker and electric shower you can see the electric shower or the immersion heater you can see this is known as the power load the power load means the heavy load the current rating of this line the wire is maybe above the 5 amperes and up to the 16 amperes current it has to bear these are the two basic things you have to remember where lighting loads where power loads has to drawn first of all so after knowing this one so we know that each and the power line has to be drawn separately and lighting load drawn drawn separately because so power is always uh, lines are the 320 wires generally are uh, 2.5 mm square a copper wire whereas a lighting load uh, this is a 1.5 mm square copper wire that's a 118 wire so that's why that's why so we require the two conduit wires so one is for the lighting load another for the power load so we can see later now coming to the other part so here the following rates and dimensions may be assumed unless otherwise specified here so as we know that so daily we are observing so to calculate the load first of all load in a given hours we first of all know so the what are the different type of the loads the consumer going to use and what is its a rating as we know that the 
generally used in a domestic loads are the fluorescent lamp that is the tube light it may be 40 watts so it's not exactly 40 watts nowadays we are using the led tube lights it may be 26 watts 36 watts 40 watts so here we just we consider approximately 40 watts maximum 40 watts and incandescent lamps that is the bulb it may be 100 watts 200 watts 40 watts 60 watts and 50 watts so here we consider 60 watts for the calculation purpose and another is a um, fan point so generally the fans latest fans also it may be less than 80 watts and more than the 80 watts sometimes we can know the, the latest fans are the less rating consuming fans design only days we are using the a large bulk now fan points there is, it will draw the current nearly so above 100 watts now so socket for 5 amperes so lighting load sockets where we can use this for the charging of our cell phones charging up the some uh, this up for the for using up the uh, small small things in our uh, charging up the uh, mosquito bat and different applications so it can we can see this uh, 100 watts is uh, enough and whereas the uh, power loads the power loads but the uh, power loads means the 15 amperes maximum it's the uh, load is a uh, 100 watts that means we sometimes we require the iron the so ironing of the clothes we require the what socket power socket an immersion heater in case of the uh, winter season so the sockets are also designed for the power loads so where that means in socket 5 amperes if you place the uh, charger for the cell phone it will will work properly without heating the socket point the plug point or socket suppose in power socket if you are placing the the less than 5 ampere socket it will work nothing will happen but instead of see iron box that is the power rating equipment is placed in the 5 ampere socket it will work no problem but after few minutes a time the plug as well as the socket may be heating takes place after sometimes it may burn hence so we have to differentiate in domestic at the starting itself so where the power socket where the lighting socket so that is a better to as per our rules and coming to the another some indian electricity rules for installation here the height of the roof for example in a house if you are seeing the the thick uh, the height of the wall so if you are nearly 3.5 meters and height of the switchboard always we have to keep the switchboard this um, from uh, ground to 1.5 meters here the ground and wall thickness should be 0.3 meters and height of the, the meter board and distribution board and brackets that should be 2.75 meters and height of the batten conduit 3 meters that means 1.5 meters the horizontal run has to run along the wall so what do you mean by the this uh, vertical run horizontal run vertical up vertical down we will see next slides these are the few things basic things you have to keep in your mind while calculating this lighting loads or the lighting esti estimation now let us see here observe here is the one circuit diagram the left side whereas the right side is the uh, practically is the installed circuits here they are using the metal conduit surface metal conduit three lamps are uh, used for the surface metal conduit this side is the one circuit diagram for a single bulb how the bulb is connected so as we know that first the bulb is for the one switch and a junction boxes and next is the load here so what is the horizontal run vertical up vertical down you should know for these are the useful for calculation of length of the quantity you can see here this is a horizontal run the horizontal run is the horizontal that is a 0.5 meters from the roof the line which is running that is known as the horizontal uh, run and next is the, the vertical down from horizontal run towards the switchboard downwards it is known as a vertical down and next above the horizontal run we can see this is the vertical up these are the three points we have to remember while calculating up the length of the quantity these are the simple from the horizontal run the horizontal run always run below point 
थ्री फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स फ्रॉम द आर्जेंटल रन इफ द लाइन गोज अप साइड टूवर्ड्स द सीलिंग दैन वी कैन से दिस वर्टिकल लॉक इफ रन इज द बिलो टूवर्ड्स द स्विच बोर्ड ग्राउंड इट इज एज अ वर्टिकल डाउन दिस आर द थ्री टर्न्स यू शुड रिमेम्बर नाउ कमिंग टू द अनदर द स्टेप्स फॉर एस्टिमेशन ऑफ डोमेस्टिक लॉट नाउ वी आर वी आर कमिंग टू एस्टिमेट द एक्चुअल वैल्यूज नाउ दिस आर द बिफोर द अप टू वी हैव सीन द बेसिक थिंग्स टू कैलकुलेट लाइटिंग लोड्स एंड एस्टिमेशन नाउ व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्वड टू एस्टिमेट द द डोमेस्टिक इंस्टॉलेशन सो फॉर द डोमेस्टिक इंस्टॉलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट कैलकुलेशन ऑफ सब सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर सो दिस हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द सब सर्कट्स आफ्टर so i will uh, i will uh, tell you the basic things now after calculation of the sub circuits next we are going to calculate the for that purpose calculate the what are that calculate calculation of total load current how much load so for example the consumer interested so how many loads is required how many loads he has to install first of all you identify those uh, loads then he should know is the name plates of the loads and after knowing the loads you add the total power wattage of the each load that is a calculation of total load and from that one we are going to calculate the what is the current required for this one for the purpose of controlling switch that is a fuse or mcb now next coming to the choosing of a main fuse a dp and a conductor conductor rating so based on this load so we have to choose whether is the 118 wire or 320 wire or 4 or 720 wire copper wires so this is the size of the cable the depend upon the current rating the current also depend upon the loads these are the first step you have to remember next after calculation of sub circuits after calculation of the load current after calculation of uh, after assumption after choosing of the uh, dp and main switch and conductor size of the the conductor the wires bundles then next step is the calculation of conduits conduit length of the conduit and size of the conduits now so what are the conduit pvc conduits its accessories so can junction boxes uh, couplings and different different things whether it's a flexible conduit or a rigid conduit based on uh, places after after calculation of sub circuit next step is the calculation of uh, conduit size and length conduit size depend upon the number of wires as to drawn inside the conduit whether you are going to draw the, the how many wires the five wires or three wires or 10 wires so if the wires increases the size of the conduit has to increase whether it's a 25 mm uh, conduit or 50 mm conduit sizes different sizes available in market and coming to the length of the conduit here the main thing is the length of the conduit once you are, you are familiar to find the length of the conduit so 50% of the problem is solved so how we are going to find the length of the conduit i can explain step by step so to know that one so length of the total length of the conduit is divided into the horizontal length and vertical length so vertically already we know the vertical up and vertical down that is a measurement we have to take so after knowing the measurement we are going to calculate the total length of the conduit that is a enough let us see next step after calculating this one so calculation of length of conductor wire once we know the sub circuits how many sub circuits required and uh, is the ratings of the main controlling and the protective devices in the cal- calculation of conduit size and the length then final stage is the calculation of length of the conductor after knowing the length of the conduit into three times we are going to get the length of the copper wire at the same time with the size of the copper wire depend upon the load current already we calculated in first second stage 
and that is the calculation of the after that labor cost so what is the cost for each point for the labor installation of this pin and after of completion of this total completion of this one so we are going to provide the one chart we known as the schedule so these are the few steps involved in a, any domestic appliances whether it may be small house it may be the multi store building it may be apartment these are the steps involved in estimation of domestic load whether it is a commercially or domestic now see one by one as you know the before going to involve your problem so you should know what is the general domestic loads what are the loads presents in a domestic generally so nowadays we are seeing the the incandescent lamps the incandescent lamps also replaced with the led lamps next the fans and sockets then sockets in the power sockets and uh, lighting sockets you can see here so loads what are the loads generally so ab, after finding the number of loads we are going to install its wattage should be known here is a uh, for example here we are assuming that this um, first of all the low the lighting loads <coughs> bulb load may be bulb may bulb load may be uh, 60 watts and fan load may be 80 watts and power socket may be 1000 watts and lighting socket may be 100 watts so these are the few loads generally available in domestic and its wattages so how we are going to find the wattage by seeing the name plates of each and every appliances we can easily know whether it is a single phase what is the current rating what is its insulation type whether a type b type c type f type or at the same time what is the wattage of this one so easily we can identify it. based on this wattage we are going to calculate the sub circuits now this is the idea now coming to the the loads as per the ie rule indian electricity rules for sub circuit calculation now let us start the problem so here first differentiate so lighting load and power load in lighting load how we are going to calculate so what are the uh, how much load for a lighting load how much load for the power load based on this one we are going to calculate the sub circuits for example in lighting loads after cumulative after addition of all load wattage we are going to get the suppose for example we are going to add the all loads in previous cases two lamps one fan one two sockets and one power socket by calculating this all things we are going to get the suppose for example uh, 1500 watts in 1500 watts of lighting load and uh, 2000 watts in power load now how many sub circuits for the 1500 watts for the lighting and 2000 watts how many sub circuits for the power load so we are going to uh, find out based on uh, already predefined ie rules here lighting load sub circuits can be can be calculated based on two conditions what is that condition first one that if load is calculated some by total load by 800 watts that means each sub circuit capacity is the only 800 watts that means so each one fuse one cut out one mcb is provided one sub circuit that is capable to bear 800 watts or so 10 points 10 points in previous cases we have seen figure so two lamps and one fan two lighting sockets so that means lighting loads are the only five 2 plus 2 plus 1 where the power socket only ones are one so these are the uh, in previous cases to five here that means only single sub circuit by adding the number of circuits we are going to have so that means whether the lighting one sub circuit is equal to 800 watts or 10 points whichever the lower you have to take that consideration on sub circuit for example if you are the load may be so 900 watts if a total cumulative load in a domestic is the 900 watts then how many sub circuits then we have to divide it into the two sub circuits suppose 
if the total number of points may be uh, 11 wattage is the only 500 watts but number of points is the 11 then we have to even then we have to consider two sub circuits whichever is the lower we have to take that as consideration but the safety point of view we have to consider first of all the thing and coming to the uh, power load i think you are understood that thing so each sub circuit 800 watts or 10 points if above 800 watts we have to increase the another sub circuit if above 10 points we have to add the another sub circuits so that is the basic idea let us see in practically now coming to the power load in power load the each capacity power load means the immersion heater a geyser ac point these are the heavy loads that each rating is the nearly the above 1000 watts suppose if we are observing in domestic in iron, electric iron it may be 1000 watts or 1500 watts sometimes in immersion heater it may be so 1000 watts and 1500 watts geyser the different the heavy loads so based on adding the all loads so whatever the comes that load divided by the 3000 watts we are going to get the number of sub circuits for the power loads that means one power load is equal to 300 watts suppose 3500 watts then you choose for the two sub circuits even the points are two if the two points we are going to one sub circuit if the three points suppose for example one geyser two geysers in two bathrooms one um, uh, refrigerator and another is the immersion that four points then we have to go for the two sub circuits these are the basic idea of power loads now based on this i rules we are going to differentiate number of sub circuits let us see now total load calculation for a sub circuit so previously we have seen this load so it has a one fan two lamps and two lighting sockets at the same time one power socket now what is the fan load only one fan so each already we are assumed 1 into 80 watts that is equal 80 watts and coming to them next two bulb loads 2 into 60 watts that 120 watts and lighting sockets we have the two sockets each capacity is 100 watts we are assumed then 200 watts now let us see so total lighting load how much is a 80 plus 120 plus 200 that is a nearly 400 watts that means less than the 800 watts now coming to the number of points 1 plus 2 plus 2 5 points so 10 points is the one sub circuit or 800 watts is the one sub circuit so here number of points as well as the load is a less than only one sub circuit we have to consider the one sub circuit now you see the number of points is a 5 and so power load socket is the only one presented here that is a 1 into 1000 watts 1000 watts now so let us say number of power points is equal to only one so two power two points is equal to the one sub circuit is less than two points is a one that means here we conclude that so hence number of sub circuits are one for the lighting load and one for the power load and easy to calculate and it out here now coming to the another part so here what is the sub circuits you can see here so here if you are observing this is a points no so here is a lighting fan a power line water heater air conditioner water pump space line these are the each one is a one one sub circuits that means light fan lighting load and fans for the one sub circuit we are using the one mcb the dp that is the one sub circuit and the power line another sub circuit water heater one sub circuit air conditioner one sub circuit water pump is a pump is some uh, pump that is a one sub circuit and a space line is a another one so these are the so six sub circuits provided in a, a given house in generally so it is connected the all is connected through the so elcb dp what is the many the ELC already we are known is the, the electrical leakage circuit breakers any current leakages it will identify it will trip the total circuits 
and it is coming from the ATP. So it will ground line protector. That is the nothing but it, any problems are protection is a very important when leakage or anything problem happen automatically MC will take care of this one and these are all coming from the MCB and DP the miniature circuit breaker the double pole controller we are coming these are the the standard procedure for any electrical load to avoid the electrical shock as well as the fire accidents due to the electrical supply now coming to the another part so now let us see the size of the conductor so now we have seen that first case we calculated the conduits sorry uh, we calculated the number of sub circuits how are you going to calculate the number of sub circuits finding the total load and this load is divided based on our as per IE rules based on IE rules we calculated whether the one sub circuit or two sub circuits three sub circuits based on that one we have provided the controlling devices or the fuses or MCPs. Now the second step is the size of the conductor. The size of the conductor means the rating of the conductor when we are using the single 1, 118 wire, 320 wire or the 720 wire. So this current rating depend upon the load current. So load current how we are going to calculate the load current in single phase and three phase. So from previous classes we know that in case of AC the power is equal P is equal to V into I into cos phi. So here P is the total power in wattage and V is the voltage in single phase voltage we are assumed as a 230 volts or plus or minus 10 percentage that may be 250 volts into current how much current rating of that load into power factor. Power factor in domestic generally we are assuming is the power factor is the unity. So there is no a large um, large capacity of the motors whereas in case of the industry we have to consider that its power factor may be 0.85 but in domestic load we are assuming as a UPF the unit power factor. So that in domestic power is equal V into I. So uh, voltage single phase 230 volts I is the rating of that current we are going to get the power that is the power. Now each power loads all loads are calculated and divided by the this voltage we are going to the current based on the current rating we are going to choose the the size of the conductor whether you are using 320 wire 720 wire or 118 wire so in or you can say the in mm square or this uh, standard gauge let us see first of all what do you uh, what to do first of all the size of the conductor depends on the amount of current to be carried that as is well now second point the current to be carried is equal power by voltage into power factor here the, we are assuming power factor is equal to unity now so in previous cases in small house we have taken that is the total load is the uh, the thousand plus 400 watts 1400 watts by single phase we are assuming 250 volts actually it may be 230 so better to take the uh, 250 volts now we are going to get how much of the current so the current may be 5.6 amperes so 5.6 ampere is a current carrying capacity of conductors but what will happen in current for some loads so it will draw the inrush current at the starting whenever the switch is closed the current may be comes in the high rating at the two to three times in case of the large emissions the current may be five to six five to seven times of the full load current so in domestic we are taking the double the current that is the two into 5.6 12 amperes that means the each conductor size has to bear the 12 amperes if the all loads are uh, switched on at a time then it can bear 5.6 amperes but at the initially it will draw the current 1.5 times to uh, double the current rating so 12 amperes current rating it has to provide from the dp to sub -surfers. that is a better idea without any fire accidents so heating now nearly 12 amperes 250 volts single phase fuse cutout is required and instead of 12 amperes we are going to get the standard in market 16 amperes and 32 amperes 64 amperes are designed and single phase fuse cutouts and dp is required now the normal size of the conductor for house wiring is 1.5 mm square that is a 118 wire so that is 1 by 1.15 mm 
that is the size of the copper cable or 1 by 1.4 mm aluminum cable so nowadays we are using the uh, copper wires is a better suitable and advisable better to use this copper wires only now for example you take the these are the basic things before doing the practical one problem let us do the one example what is the example here given here estimate the quantity of the material and the cost required for the building whose plan is shown in the figure and in pvc surface conduit wire so here what will happen <coughs> he has a given one plan and he already uh, assumed better to use in the pvc conduit surface conduit not concealed conduit pvc surface conduit then how much cost may be for this total estimation so that we are going to do it now let us so already we know the basic things based on this one is given the consumer is the demand is the pvc surface conduit and he has already he uh, mentioned how much load is required so based on his load capacity based on his desired surface conduit we are going to calculate in step by step let us see for this one what are the steps so already we know that he is a given the one one diagram so he has a two rooms and here the main board and the distribution board is nearby door and one is the, the switch board is provided in switch board s2 we can indicate the s2 switch board and s2 contains the one tube light t2 one fan f2 and one lamp l2 that is a lamp fan tube light and s2 is a switch board at the same time there is a one lighting socket so four loads are connected switch board one and coming to the another room the room number here left side we are going to same load nearly uh, lamp one fan one f1 l1 and s1 and t1 same loads the same tube light same uh, lighting socket and uh, one lamp and fan in addition to that one here is a switch board three is provided one is the power socket for the refrigerator or something something purpose here is a some given loads so we can easily he is given the loads and at the he, he has mentioned the places also where he required to keep the two loads based on his desires so now we are going to calculate the loads let us see for this one so already we, we know that so whatever the is given the dimensions where is the position of the loads we have to keep in our mind to assume in a three dimensional way based on this assumption we are going to step by step all calculations now so let us see this is the one so load calculations what is the first you calculate the subcircuits to know the subcircuits we are going to calculate the what are the different loads and its a wattage then you sum up this total load here is given the what is this one is given the uh, the lighting loads here is a uh, two lamps is l1 l2 two lamps 2 into 60 watts 120 watts now you can see here okay so lamps are 2 into 60 watts we are assumed is not mentioned anything so we are assumed as per our assumptions 2 into 60 watts and two lights two numbers 2 into 40 watts and uh, fans two numbers 2 into 80 watts and uh, sockets lighting sockets 5 amperes at the single phase 230 volts 2 into 100 watts these are the lighting loads and then coming to the power sockets the 15 ampere power sockets now that is a 1 into 1000 watts these are the loads mentioned in diagram given diagram and now let us see total lighting load is the 560 watts and total power load is the 1000 watts that means total overall load is the 1560 watts in that one total lighting load is the only 560 watts and total power load is the 1000 watts now after knowing this loads we are going to divide the sub circuits that is the next step let us see now so this is the total load now coming to this one and then coming to this one the number of sub circuits we have to mention here number of sub circuits of the light load is equal to 1 
that is because the total is a 560 watts only that less than 800 watts or 10 points equal to the one sub circuit so how many sub circuits now here only lighting purpose only sub circuit and coming to the power circuit now number of sub circuits for power load is equal to also one because the here 3000 watts or two points equal to the one sub circuit so the load itself 1000 watts so here the sub circuits for the power load is called one the sub circuits for the lighting load is called one this is the calculations have you understood and any problem simple calculation this is a one by one now so now we are familiar how it how to find the sub circuits based on the sub circuits we are going to choose the current rating so on two sub circuits two mcbs is required for the one is the lighting load purpose another is the power load purpose what is the rating so rating can be calculated based on the current capacity now let us see the size of the wire the second part the size of the wire for light load the load current is equal to total watt wattage by voltage now 560 by 230 volts we taken here 2.43 amperes now this is the current capacity from the current rating table the size of the conductor selected so there is a one standard table available in our installation so based on the current rating corresponding how what are the cable is uh, uh, suggestible you can choose it from the current rating table the size of the conductor selected is a 1.5 mm square pvc cable that is a 118 wire is a enough so here the load current is a 2.43 at the same time we have to consider 2.43 is a table itself mentioned the into two times double the current so based on the double the current so he suggested 1.5 mm square pvc copper cable that is a 118 wire is a enough and uh, uh, easily bearable this current that is the one thing and coming to the power load purpose same load current by voltage uh, voltage is 1000 by 230 volts 4.34 amperes and same based on this current rating so we have to choose that that is called from current rating table the size of the conductor selected is 2.5 mm square that is a 320 wire cable simply if you know the cable exactly 1.5 mm square or 2.5 mm square otherwise as a thumb rule for a layman so for the lighting load purpose there is the minimum 118 wire is copper wire and for the power loads 320 so that is the 320 wire is the 3 is the number of strands 20 is the gauge 118 1 is the single strand and 20 is the gauge this is the generally we are layman can be remember these things otherwise if you know that so that is a 1.5 m square copper cable or 1.2.5 m square there is a pvc uh, copper cable for power loads now the now is we have to select the the size of the main so based on these two currents the lighting load current and uh, power load current we sum up it the what is the current rating now based on the current that is a really less than 10 amperes so but in standard current rating uh, material uh, the standard uh, capacity uh, materials are available in market is a uh, uh, 15 amperes 230 volts dp is uh, enough to control both the lighting circuits and the power circuit here and size of the distribution board two way that is called dp that is the main which is the 15 ampere uh, 250 volts these are the two main things we have to remember now before to calculate uh, another section that is the length of the calculation the uh, quantity wire pvc quantity wire so before that one we are going to keep in mind this is a one diagram the position of the main board distribution board and sub uh, sub circuit this is a, so you have to remember here switch board nothing but so here the main board and uh, distribution board as per IE rule we have to keep it nearly 2.75 meters above the floor and the same time horizontal run has to run so from the ceiling 0.5 meters or otherwise 3 meters from the floor and the switchboard can be placed at 1.5 meters from the floor so you can observe this all things mentioned in the diagram these are the some standard uh, installations followed by the uh, electricians as per IE rules now coming to this one 
so electrical wiring layout for sub circuits so here what is happening is a given figure now this is a diagram is given for us now what is the mentioned here so lighting load so based on first lighting load so we taking the red color wire is the taken so from uh, main board and db there is a one switch board then switch board has to be provided the red color is taken that was the, the layout of the contact so lighting load so electrical wiring layout for the sub circuit part this is a lighting load sub circuit so red color we draw the red color it, it, it covered all uh, lighting load appliances now coming to the electrical wiring layout for sub circuits and number 1 and number 2 number 1 already we have seen now number 2 how you can see here so here so this is a, a line one by one so we have to me measure the so we have to place lay the conduit wire from the switch board 1 to the corner one and this is a up to tube light up to f2 and up to l2 these are the layout procedure one by one we are going to connect to the conduit surface conduit by using the uh, saddles and junction boxes and elbows all things now coming to the another portion and this is the extended from the t2 tube light 2 to the terminal 2 and s1 and from the s1 so only is enough that is the only socket and from this place to is connected to the another t1 another tube light and is connected to the f1 fan and is connected to the l1 this is the total lighting load sub circuit and layout of the conduit wiring and coming to the after this one so we choose for the lighting the sir power load so power load is a green color you can observe this one. this is the another conduit and from this one another conduit this is the power load conduit red one is a lighting load conduit we lay it and uh, based on the size of the number of wires pvc conduit surface conduit at the same time a separate run power load also for the power load purpose we separate pvc conduit are run on the surface conduit by using the green color you can observe these are the two layout of the conduits now after this one so two layout to perform this one so we require the length of this places how much how we are going to find the we have to purchase the uh, conduit how you are going to purchase this conduit wire so based on the lengths now let us see here as we know this uh, for this uh, we have to assume uh, three dimensionally so as already we known uh, explain so let us first of all to find place keep some points some a b c d the points from a to b how much length we assume it because it's the length of the uh, height of the room is 3.5 meters and uh, uh, length of the db and meter boards are 2.75 meters already we known so based on this length approximately you measure what is the length from a to b b to c c to d c d to e so here uh, by mentioning this points we are going to calculate we are adding the total length we are going to get the length of the conduit that is the main aim now you can see here first of all i place the one point at a and we place the one point b from a to b it may be for example total length is 3.5 meters it may be uh, 1.5 meters from the above this distribution board it may be 2.5 meters or 1.2 meters from a to b 2 meters and b to c it may be uh, 30 centimeters and c to d it may be half meter or 70 meters or 1 meter and d to e that may be what is the measure you can measure the length d to e what is the length and e to f what is the length f to g what is the length and e to h what is the length now e to i what is the length i to j what is the length so you assume the length based on the given dimensions is there nothing a problem now k j to k what is the length now i to l what is the length and i to m what is the length and m to n similarly we are going to m to o and o to p and p to this one these are the points you have to mention without confusing in a given circuit after mentioning these points so you have to assume that what is the length from a to b b to c c to d so students you remember that this is a estimation of electrical installation 
it may not it may not be a fixed rule one person may estimate the costing of this house may be 60000 another person may be estimated for the same house is a uh, 60000 and another person is a uh, 50000 another may be the uh, 70000 it is not a fixed one plus or minus some percentage range so so as a engineer you have to keep the the cost the number of items material should be minimum the effectiveness and neatness and the protective system and reliable should be more these are the points we are going to keep in our mind for calculating this all things as engineers we should be optimize everything that purpose so lens should be so the layout should be the optimum that should be keep in our mind now let us see this uh, in a our given picture so here so this is a lighting load already we have drawn this one and you can see the size from a to b similar to we are going to uh, identify the number of points from the number of points we are going to assume the size of the length of the conduit so this is a 3 meters from height so 4 meters what is the length a length can be easily calculated from a to b how much and b to b to c c to d d to e that is a total length now similarly power load and so power load this is the method for calculation of length of the conduit so here length of the conduit so we are going to calculate based on the uh, whether it is a whether it is horizontal run vertical run and uh so already we have mentioned so based on this one you can see this one here you can observe the origin to run how much length from a to b b to c d here we taking the from 1.2 to 1.3 meters and from 1.1 to 4 meters and 1.1 is a 1.5 meters and 4 meter you have to mention this point a to b and b to c c to d and d to e, g g to e f so this you have to mention it you add the total length we are going to get the what is the horizontal length so you have to mention the horizontal length also ceiling also you can keep in horizontal length so horizontal length by assuming the assumption uh, this total length you are going to calculate the total horizontal length is a 12.5 mm now vertical point of view so what what is the vertical up so 0.5 one one place is a 0.5 meters another place a 0.5 meters another 0.5 meters another 0.5 so total is a 2 meters and a vertical down how much done one one place is 1.5 meters another is 1.3 meters these are the total length now what what is the vertical length total length is a 5 meters and what is the horizontal length is a 12.5 meters now what is the total length add it simply then going to get so the prime based on this one we are calculated now at the same time we have to consider the wall thickness for example veranda we are going to place one bulb so it has to form the hall to veranda we require the wall thickness the 30 cm so that uh, conduit the metal conduit should be required for that purpose so here is a uh, 0.3 wall thickness into two times this the sorry this a 0.3 meters only and total length is equal so two uh, rooms for example uh, first room and second room we are going to the wall thickness we consider the wall thickness so that purpose is a 0.3 plus 0.3 that is a 0.6 total length is called 18.1 meter total length of the conduit now total conduit length is equal 1.1 meters plus 10% is wastage for cutting and at the edges so we have to mention we have to always tolerance that plus or minus 10% wastage now we are going to the 1.1 1.8 meters that is a 19.1 meter so we can observe that this is a nearly 20 meters of length of the conduit is required for our system this is the calculation of length of conduit after knowing the length of the conduit the size may be 25 mm or based on the number of wires it may be if may be increases half inch or 1 inch or 1.5 inch generally we assume these are the uh, one size and length of the conduit we know so now here 1.5 Um, 1.5 square mm the single core pvc cable required for the length this is a pvc cable cable is a wire that is the 118 wire is required for this one now so what is the length length that may be 
is the total length of conduit into three times that is going to get the total length of the conduit that is a uh, 60 meters at the same time plus or minus 15 percent of waste stage for the connection purposes then we are going to get the total length of the conduit is where is a 69 meter we can say is a 70 meters of copper wire 118 copper wire is required for the lighting loads now length of the pvc conduit for the power circuit we up to we calculated the length of lighting loads and now length of the pvc conduit now the pvc conduit the horizontal run so similarly from the figure horizontal run the 6 meters plus 2 meters 8 meters and vertical down is uh, 1.5 meters and total length is equal 9.9.5 meters and so based on the some wastage we are going to get the the final length is the 10.45 meters so say approximately 11 meters of the the conduit wire so whether it's a size of the conduit may be uh, same size it is enough that is a power circuit separate that's all 11 meters so only two wires this is enough previous case plus this length we have to add the total length of the now the wire the size of the wire is into three times into 15 percent the 2.5 square mm single phase pvc cable is required that is a 320 wire is required and length is equal to 11 into three times we are going to 33 plus 15 percent wastage 37.95 it may be nearly the 38 meters of the uh, 320 wire is required for the power loads now after completion of this all things we are now uh, summarized that is a so we have to draw the one uh, the diagram that is the table that table may be schedule so in schedule we have to place all things so we have the basic things we have known now where we require the elbows the junction boxes ceiling roses uh, lamp holders distribution boxes uh, uh, clips and all things all accessories you have to mention in a table the table is known as the schedule the schedule of materials now let us in schedule the serial number specification of materials and quantity is required and what is the approximately a rate for each one and what is the total cost of each item that remarks now you can observe here so first dpic double pole iron clear the main switch that is the 15 amperes 250 volts it may be cost maybe 200 for each one number is required one main is required that may be cost is a 200 for each so total cost is 200 and ic cut out 15 amps 250 volts the mcb for one that may be cost is equal to the fees in the ic cut out is a the 20 rupees means so only fees kit card fees reversible fees is provided is a one number is required 20 rupees and flush type 5 amperes and is the 15 the switches flush type is the here the uh, different type of the flush type switches and uh, all uh, accessories are required the based on this one road we are going to calculate this is all schedules what are the small small saddles pvc junction box whether it's a four way three way two way so all are based on the physical uh, dimensions concerned and screws also you have to mention and wooden boards so for the fixing the wooden boards for the keeping the db and the meter as well as the switch boards all things we have to round blocks wooden cut trees and cement to cover this one labor charges all things we have to mention in this uh, schedule after mentioning this one so we are going to get the schedule so how to calculate the labor cost now so labor cost generally uh, assumption so we are taking the so based on the nowadays we are taking the electrician will take the so based on the number of points so how many lamp points how many tube lights and in the fans and power fans and main boards all are taken in consideration adding the number of points each point may be so total points are 12 points then we will take the each point approximately 100 rupees we are going to the 1200 so one charge charge for the installation of all equipments based on the number of points these are the one labor cost calculations so this labor also cost also include in schedule this is the procedure for the calculation of lighting loads this is the very simple and easy and step by step now so in this class what we have learned today so then we learned today is the uh, first 
layout of servicemen how the servicemen is a overhead servicemen and underground servicemen how the electrical supply from the utility to a consumer comes already we have seen and the basic ie rules for the, how much distribution board should be placed at uh, height and what is the lighting load capacity uh, for a sub circuit what is the power load uh, for a sub circuit is already we know the ie rules and basic load power assumptions and a 3d wiring diagram we have seen next estimation of domestic lighting installation this is the final thing for this one after completion of this one so finally we prepared one schedule that's based on schedule we are going to, we are going to uh, finalize how much approximate cost for a installation of a given uh, consumer uh, desires things these are the uh, uh, estimation of lighting loss now thank you for everyone uh, i hope it is a uh, very easy to everyone to uh, everyone has to know as electrical students basic things because everyone have is a domestic and even we are going to suggest the how much loads what are the di different types of uh, accessories required in a domestic wiring so as a uh, as a electrical students you should know uh, all these basic things thank you very much to all